before I start ministering, our prophetic protocol is from 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 3, when you prophesy the word must edify, exhort and comfort. And so it's very important for me, that's why I say it every time, because I don't want people to bring words of judgment. People feel already judged, it's not necessary for us to do it. What we want to do is we want to ask God, what are you speaking to someone to speak into their potential? To give them direction. The Holy Spirit is our comforter. And that word parakletos, comforter, literally means to walk parallel with you in the direction you're supposed to go. And so that's what God wants to do with us also when He speaks His word to us. He wants us to give us direction. Okay, I'm going to start ministering to Tasha Nai. Okay, so Tasha Nai, uh, the Lord is taking your hand and he's leading you to a place of rest. I see like a, a bed with a pillow and he just lets you sleep and you just completely rest out. It's almost as if I feel that you just go from the next um, pressure point to the next pressure point and you, and you don't rest out. And the Lord says instead of um, making time for 10 things, just simplify and make sure you get good rest so that you can strong can be strong so that you can run with what God is doing uh, in your life. The Lord wants His river to flow out of you. He wants you to be beautiful and full of rest. And so that's why I feel the Lord is leading you to a place of simplification and resting. God bless you, Tasha Nay. Amen. The next word is for Mary Jane. Mary Jane, I see um, there's that time, you know that time thing that the sand goes in. But the time thing sand is going very slow. And it's almost like God is saying to you that He is going to slow down time so that you can get everything done. Because it feels to me like there's so many things that you need to do and you are getting overwhelmed. So God says you need to breathe, you need to just relax and then He will slow down the time for you so that you can get to, get to do everything and so that you can, you know, stop um, um, um overwhelming yourself like that and God says that he will you will place his hand of, of it's almost like place of hands of peace over you so that you can um, schedule your time accordingly be blessed thank you Mary Jane PC was a comment the next word is for Lainey um, Lainey so when I first saw your name I just saw your mind and I saw peace over your mind and God also shows me a, a door and I see how you are led by God's peace um, when you need to make the decision the let's share decision don't enter that door if you don't have peace um with god and then god just um reminded of god's faithfulness and his unchangingness through generations and generations um, and i see like when you come to a situation where doubt starts to creep in how you just need to meditate on what he has done not only in your life but in scripture throughout the past and remember that he is still the same god as the god of abraham god bless you Thank you, Lani, for being here tonight. Please remember right to say comment. The next word is for Johanna. Johanna, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Renew your mind. Think differently about yourself and see you as God sees you. If you, do, if you can't do that, it's difficult to, uh, to be accepted by the Lord in your own opinion, not in God's opinion, in your own opinion. So you're not going to act differently as you should. You're not going to be changed and transformed and you're not going to be... You're not going to be able to experience what God wants for you. And I just see complete renewing of your mind. Think differently about yourself. Even if the prodigal son came home and his father restored him, if he still thought he was a slave, that is how he would have felt, not how his father would have seen him. Be blessed. Hello, Joanna. God bless you. Okay, so Christine, the Lord shows me how He takes you into a scroll room in heaven and how you get many scrolls and mandates and you keep guard of them you are a steward of them and then as people come over your path you speak with them you give them the scroll uh, so they can move forward and just like the prophet samuel spoke to people and he told them you'll be king you'll do this you'll do that in the same way i see the lord puts that anointing on you god bless you i mean the next word is for lydia is it not Lydia, ne? Yeah, Lydia. Okay. Lydia, um, I feel that God is coming and He's wrapping you with cotton wool. And He says He wants to protect you from, from, from it's almost like I, I, I hear and see how family is hurting you a lot with words. And it's, um, it's almost like they are stealing from you. And so God says He wants to protect you and He wants, He's taking you away from that so that they can mature, so that they can see what they are doing wrong. And you just stay the child of God that you are. You stay in character and and you stay in that place of loving 
them because um, you love them for the for the people that they are. You love them through the eyes of Jesus. And then after a while, you can move slowly back um, to them, you know, and, and communing with them. And then God will restore that unity because they will see what they did wrong. But for now, God is going to protect you. Be blessed. The next word is for Anil. Um, Anil, uh, I just saw like a nail and I saw the nail going through Jesus. And um, I just feel like the, the revelation personal revelation that you'll get of what Jesus did for you on the cross and what that means. I just really feel that like that will transform your life and it will fill you with so much love and that you will just overflow with love wherever you go because you'll understand the, the grace and mercy that you have received from the Father and because of that you'll have so much grace and mercy towards other people and um, I really feel just like a You'll, like, you'll be patient with people that aren't necessarily walking a path with the Lord yet. And you'll like really love them in a way that Jesus does and encourage them. And I see how the Lord just gives you a lens to see people um, the way He sees them. And sometimes it will be hard, but I see how when it's hard for you to see someone the way the Lord sees them, how you just press in extra to the Lord and how, um, it's, yeah, how the Lord just reveals that person to you through His eyes. God bless you. Thank you, Anil, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. The next word is for Amanda. Amanda, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I see how somebody stolen something that was valuable for you, personal treasure, and I just see how it is difficult to let go of it, um, but I see how the Lord gives you the, the, uh, the strength just to let it go. And I see forgive. Forgive and set free because you're not going to be set free if you do not forgive. And I just feel how the Lord says, I want to restore to you, uh, but I need you to let it go. And then I also see don't. Because of that, what this happened, judge everybody accordingly. Yes, it is fine to analyze people, uh, but don't judge all people that they are not good people. And I just see how the Lord wants to put people in your life where they're just going to be a blessing to you. And, and sometimes you're just going to wonder, why does this people just want to bring things? Why does they just want to care? Uh, but it's a whole process of restoration and how God wants to restore you to who you should be. Be blessed. Okay, Amanda, God bless you as a family. Uh, thank you. I see lots of people are putting names in the comments. So uh, we're going to minister tonight to 50 people and then all the names that's more than 50, I'm going to make a separate list and a separate video uh, of those names. Okay, so uh, the next person I want to minister to is Dawn. All right. Dawn, the Lord chose me on the west coast, coast, those mountain ranges and now on the Western side of the mountain is green, but on the eastern side of the mountain, it's like dry and desert. Uh, and it's just because those mountains stop the clouds from coming over. And I see how the Lord raises you up as a mountain. And how all the clouds stop by you and the blessing pour out on you. And everybody say, but why is Dawn always get all the blessing, but we're not getting any of the blessing? And I just felt that the Lord says, I've raised you as someone that's are faithful, that are on a mountain, that uh, are a government of God uh, in my kingdom. And I'm raising my provision in your life so that you can have more than enough to share with others. God bless you, Dawn. I mean, next word is for Ilian. Ilian, I see you're standing in front of a tunnel and the, the, the front part of the tunnel looks um, terrible and it's broken and things and the, you don't want to enter this tunnel. But God says, it's almost like, you know, that, that saying that don't, don't judge a book by its cover. God says, don't judge or, or don't look at the outside of this thing. You need to enter with faith into your new season. You need to enter into your new season. And I see, uh, I don't know if it's a work area or study area, but where it, it's an area, area that you are going to increase area that you are going to learn and that you are going to go up a level. God says just have faith and go with it because He will be with you. And inside this tunnel, it's beautiful, it's light, and it's more, more, more. So God is going to bless you for having faith and just trust Him with your journey. Be blessed. Uh, thank you, Ilian. Please leave us a comment. The next one is for Daniela. Daniela, I see you on like a mountain with just like this green luscious grass and like flowers and it's raining and I see you just dancing in the rain and I see you just so happy and the words that came to my mind are you are rejoicing because of God's faithfulness. You are excited because of God's faithfulness. Um, and then um, 
it's like there's a, a museum and the walls are white and this is and then there are like paintings on the wall and this is like your life and I see how people they walk and they look at the things that God has done in your life and they are encouraged and they are strengthened to keep going because they've seen what God can do in your life and they've seen God faithfulness in your life so now they it's like a boost of confidence to see God move in the same way um, in their life as God has moved in your life God bless you. Thank you, Daniela, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. The next word is for Angel. Angel, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just see how God wants to boost you. It is like a, uh, a bone and arrow that is just getting shot and, or a trampoline where you jump on. And that elevation, that boost that you get, the Lord's going to give you a boost. I see where, where you feel like um, things are not working out. The Lord's going to help you there. But also I see a picture where you give like a baby to the Lord and you trust the Lord and you say, Lord, this is what I give to you because I trust you. And the Lord says, I will provide, I will take care and I will supply. Um, and then I just see a crown of joy that's being restored to you as well. Be blessed. Hey, Angel, uh, God bless you, uh, family. Uh, I just want to encourage you, please write comments, connect with each other. If you see a name there of someone that you have seen before, just write their little message. Hi, Kerry, it's nice to see you. Hi, Dawn, nice to see you. Just connect with each other. This is a place where we love one another, and so we don't stay in our own little cocoon. We try to open up a little bit and love each other. All right, so next word is for Jock. Jock, uh, the Lord is just showing to me how you're driving like for a whole month in first gear. Uh, and I feel that it's like in, in more than one of uh, one of the areas in your life. And uh, how the Lord is taking you uh, onto a route where you can go on second gear and third gear. There's nothing wrong with the car. Uh, there's no fuel in it. It's, it's as if just, you, I don't know if it's a mental uh, being stuck. But I just see how the Lord puts his anointing on your life and how he break yokes and how you get into gear three, four. And so the Lord says, it's not going to be long one and then long two and then long three and then long four. It's just going to be gear one and then suddenly you're able to go to three, uh, two, three, four and then five and then go. God bless you, Jock. I mean, next one is for Christina. Christina, um, this animation is called Turbo, where this where the snail uh, gets this um, engine and then he goes faster. And in the end, um, where you know where his friend's starting to tuck and roll, where he pulls himself in and he rolls, and then he goes over the winning line and then he wins. And that's what God wants to do with you. He wants. He says you need to tuck and roll because you are going to win. You are going to have breakthrough through in this situation. Don't be afraid because when you tuck and roll, in other words, when you go into Him and when you just trust Him. Fully. when you go into his word when you go into worship when you go into prayer when you go into fasting you can just tuck and roll and then he will give you that breakthrough that you are praying for be blessed the next word is for JP JP um, I just got the idea of a farm and I see how you are it's kind of like words that God has given you that um, you're planting and you're you're like working and nurturing it and then I just see how sometimes it's hard and you get discouraged and um, I just see how the Father, I see how He calls you um, my son and how He just encourages you and it's how like when you spend time with God how you just get that boost again um, to trust for this miracle um, to happen and then I also just see you um, kind of being like a shepherd, I don't know hmm? what working with but I just kind of see you as a shepherd and I see how um, God is just going to He's going to strengthen you and He's going to lead you. And God shows me how He's going to give you sensitivity to His voice and also discernment um, to His voice. God bless you. Thank you, JP, for being here tonight. Eh? You did give to JP. Okay, yes. so I'm going to give to Abhishek. Yes. Abhishek, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I, I saw you on a mountain seeking the Lord, which is very good. But also, you need to make time wherever you're at. It's not just, the Lord's not just on the mountain. He's everywhere. Uh, yes, it's good to separate yourself from people and seek the Lord, seek His face because it's more intimate. You can focus much, much more. But I see how the Lord says, I want you to be able to focus tremendously on Him wherever you're at. In difficult circumstances, easy circumstances, when you make time for the Lord or when you feel there's no time at all. I just see how you say yes lord i want to do that but you don't understand it's challenging remember the challenge is going to make you strong that's going to build your character so you're in a process of building character which is not always easy but it's definitely worth it be blessed 
Hey, awesome. Thank you. Uh, God bless you. Uh, please write us a comment and also connect with us. It is actually wonderful for us to read the comments and we, then because that encourages us. So please make sure once you receive the word to write us a comment. Uh, so the next word is for Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer, I, I feel that you were a great support system to a lot of people in your life. You always check on them, encourage people, ask them how they are and are quick to help and be a support system. But I felt that the Lord says, He has put a calling on your life to be a worship leader. I just see anointing and how you seeing and lead people into the presence of God. And I felt that the Lord says, you first going to worship lead by yourself in your inner room and you're going to experience God and experience His presence. And then he's going to give you a platform where you can lead worship uh, people in worship into that same place that you experience in your inner room. God bless you, Jennifer. I mean, next one is for Barnabas. Barnabas, I see you taking a calculator and you're calculating, calculating, you're writing down, calculating, writing down. It's almost like there's a budget. and But but it's almost, it's almost like you cannot get to the budget. Um, there's, there's not enough. But God says, you will supply, you will supply. So you do not have to worry about that there's going to be lack. You just go in with it and then you, you will supply the rest. Um, because if you focus on the lack, then you won't be able to, to focus on what God wants you to focus on. Because there's more and I see there's, there's a lot of people standing in front of you and you are going to teach people how to budget because it's necessary in the kingdom of God. It's necessary to teach people how to be a good steward of what God gives them. Even if it's money, if it's gifts, if it's gifts, if it's anything. So you are going to teach that to people. So um, God is um, um, asking you to be faithful with this that he's giving you to you right now. So that he can give you more to be faithful with. Be blessed. Amen. Thank you, Barnabas. Please leave us a comment. The next word is for Smita. 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 Okay, so I see how God just fills you with your love, and I see how you, it's like you're filled with the warmth of God's love. And I see how some people, you know, how like some people are like very, don't touch me, my space, my bubble, very big, right? Eh? I see how you, how you come and how you just, you wrap those people. Um, in your arms and how you just love on him and it's on them and it's like this ice cube that they are in starts to melt um, and they it's like um, the gods that they put around their hearts by you loving them um, the way that the Lord loves people how it just melts and it's kind of like healing starts to happen the Lord just works so powerfully through you through love God bless you uh, thank you Smita for being here tonight please remember write us a comment we'd love to hear from you the next word is for Maraika. Maraika, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Renewal. I just see total renewal. I see like a glass that is empty. Everything is out. It's very clean. Now the Lord comes and He fills it up. So even if you feel empty, depleted, it is not a bad place to be. But you need to get close to the Lord so that He can fill you up. Trust in the Lord. I see a lot of times people trust in the Lord, but on their own set of rules um, that that the Lord wants to punish you and all of that which is which is I don't believe the case but another picture that I see for you is a branch that the Lord plucks from the tree of life and he gives that branch into your hands and that branch keeps on growing and it starts to grow inside of you where it just produces and brings life for you be blessed mm. okay awesome Maraika God bless you Okay, so family, um, we're ministering tonight to 50 people. All the names that are more than 50, I'm putting it on a list and we're going to do a separate video that we will post on Unity with Heaven with those names. So you can put your name on a list and you will be sure to receive ministry. Uh, but if you are after the list, the, the 50 names, then we will just make a separate video and make sure to minister to you. Uh, so Amber. Uh, the Lord, uh, has, His hand is really upon you and I feel the Lord is helping you with balance. You know, uh, uh, balance is usually with your ears uh, and I just see how you were a little bit off balance. Uh, off balance spiritually uh, and then it was difficult for you to focus and have wisdom in your life. And the Lord is taking your hand, He's restoring you, He's restoring your spiritual balance and he is giving you a direction and say this is the way i want you to go and so the lord doesn't want you to stop or rest or wait the lord wants you to move and you know it's also like if you teach someone to ride their bicycle if they stand still with the bicycle they can easily fall over but when they start to move then they have momentum and it's easy for them to stand up and i felt that the lord says this is a time to move god bless you 
I mean, next word is for Marie. Um, so I, I see there's a lot of houses and you're standing in between the houses and you're um, directing people there and you're helping people and it feels like God is saying that you need to, you're going to build like almost safe houses for women. Um, women that go through abuse, women that go through um, trauma, that you are going to help people, you are going to help them heal in the wounds, you are going to help them with trauma, you are going to help them with, and, and obviously this is through what Jesus is going to do in their lives, you're going to minister to them and they are going to get, get um, it's almost like delivered from all of this trauma, all of this, these things that is happening to them, but you are going to give them a safe house so that they are protected from the people that is abusing them and hurting them and you are going to teach them how to draw from the love of the Father so that they can be filled with that and comforted by the Father. Be blessed. Next word is for Ara Dana. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, but I see how God, it's like God's taking you into a place of intimacy and how He's just downloading you with so much wisdom and revelation of His heart and His word. And I see how you really seek um, His word. And I see how it's kind of how you read the pages and how it's just like, I don't know, it's like a God highlights something and just gives you like this awesome revelation on the thing that you are reading. Um, and I see how you you steward those things and you protect those things in your heart and um, just write them down so that you don't forget them as well. And I, I see how the, the revelations that you get, how it really transforms the way that you live your life. Um, and I see how God, it's kind of how they are footsteps in front of you already. God has already walked the path and I see how all you need to do is just follow in his footsteps. Just um, follow the ways that Jesus walked but also just follow his leading. Um, and then God also shows me that when God tells you to do something and it requires a sacrifice of you, how God will reward you um, for that sacrifice. God bless you. Thank you Aradana for being here tonight. Please remember write us a comment. The next word is for Janardana. I assume you might be know each other. But anyway, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Okay, I saw a picture of a tar road for you, which is downhill. You can go nice and fast, uh, but there's no lines on the road. So it is not very organized. And yet, if you meet somebody on the road, you're, you're not sure which way to go. And I just see how the Lord says, use wisdom. The wisdom will help you to use the environment that you're in, but also the provision that the Lord gives you to maintain a smooth flow that it will help you, that it won't feel like you're supposed to go fast, but you can't go fast. So I just see you need to pray and ask the Lord for strategies. How are you going to implement and change things in your life? And when you do that, I just see it's a nice, nice, smooth flow. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Janet, God bless you. Okay, so the next word is for Mel. Mel, uh, I, I see how the Lord gives you a list of instructions. He gives you something, you do it. He gives you something, you do it. And then in return, the Lord blesses you. And I felt that you have a covenant with God. Just like the Lord said to Saul, do this, and then the Lord blessed him. But when Saul was... Um, disobedience then the Lord took the kingship away from him and I just felt that the Lord is saying I've given you very clear instructions and just pray ask me you'll see that same instructions you'll hear clearly and then do it and then you'll see the blessing of God and I just felt that you have a very strong covenant relationship with God God bless you I mean next word is for Corin Corin um I see that that um, I see that you are in your Mary face. You know the story about Martha and Mary, where Martha was serving, 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 and doing things, and Mary was just sitting at Jesus' feet, hearing His word, listening to His teaching, and just drawing from Him. So God wants you to go into your Mary face. Um, Martha face is also good. Mary face is also good. There's nothing wrong with both phases, but God wants you to sit at His at, at, at Jesus' feet, so that you can learn from Him, so that you can draw from Him, and so that you can. It's almost like so that you, um, you know, his light can shine through your life so that he can uh, reflect certain areas in your life and so that you can draw from his character. It's almost like you're going to go through a character building season. But just draw from him, draw from his love and just rest in him. Rest at his feet and give everything to him. Be blessed. Thank you, Karen. The next word is for Elise. Elise, I see how God, I see like it's kind of giving, he is kind of giving you like new heels and you're in like this dance floor on this dance floor and I see how at first it's like kind of wobbly and your balance isn't that good but I see how 
I feel like it's so joyful like Jesus is just smiling like laughing at you trying to figure this thing out but I see how like every time we like kind of fall how he catches you and I just see how it's like this fun joyful process of you learning how to dance with these shoes um, and I see how like in the end it's like this beautiful dance um, that came out of this um, story but I see how um, I don't know if you've ever tried, I'm assuming you've tried to do something and not succeeding the first time and it's so frustrating um, but I see how God says just to be patient with yourself as he learns, teaches you new things and as he, yeah, just be patient with yourself and enjoy the process. Don't try and get to the, don't try and get to the end goal by or focusing so much on the end goal that you miss the journey. Um, the journey is also part of the whole thing. Um, so enjoy the journey, enjoy the moment. God bless you. Thank you, Elise, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Ben Huja. Ben Huja, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Do not doubt who I called you to be, says the Lord. And I really feel that the Lord says He did not make a mistake. He, even though you feel it's above your ability, the Lord says it is within your ability that I called you. And I just see how you grow stronger. Where you started as a little man, now you're a big man, a big and strong man. And the Lord says, look at where you started from in order to see the growth that you already have. Because it feels like uh, you don't see the growth that you have, the ability that you, you got from the Lord. And the Lord really wants you to trust Him uh, because He's giving you a sword. And that sword is very, very powerful. And you need to use it with wisdom. You need to use it with care. And you're only going to get that right when you walk close with the Lord. But you need to trust who you are that you're worthy to walk with the Lord. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Benunia, uh, God bless you. Uh, God's hand is upon your life. Uh, so family, I want to encourage you. Um, if you want to write your name in the comments, we already have 50 names. So there's about five names or so. That's more than 50. So just write your name in the comments and I'll put you on a separate list and I'll make sure that we uh, minister to you. All right? And this is important for us to love each other, to pray for one another. So if you have a prayer request, write it also in the comments and we can pray for you. It's important for us to pray for one another, to love one another and encourage one another. All right, so the next person is Alpha. Uh, so Alpha, uh, the Lord is giving you a lot of gifts and talents. It's like, I, I, you know, when you read the story about the talents, the one had five, the other one two, the other one one. I see you like the one with the five. It's a, a, a great am uh, amount of abilities, but uh, you don't always have strength. It feels like you're sometimes stuck. You don't have the strength. And the Lord is putting His anointing on you and He's giving you strength for this season where you are right now. I mean, next word is for John. John, I see that there's, there's um, it's almost like buildings, but it's, it's, it's halfway built and then there's a building that's finished and then there's a building again that's halfway built and then there's a building that's finished. So God is saying to you that, that some seasons or some areas in your life is, is you've, 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 you've done it, you've, you've conquered it, there's victory over that. Then there's some places in your life that you still need to go back to so that you can deal with it, so that you can, um, it's almost like so that you can handle it so that you can ha handle it off near um, so that you can finish it off but God wants you to go back to it and, and sometimes it's going to hurt because it's going to take you back into your past but you have to go close those doors in order for you to reach um, full maturity to step forward full maturity to step forward into what God has called you to be so just go back and ask God to, to reveal to you what you haven't dealt with in your past Deal with it and get that release to be to be into next season. Be blessed. The next word is for Elisma. Um, Elisma, I there's a song from Bethel. I think it's called Standing in Miracles, but the the lyrics is what I see um, for you. I just see how it's like your eyes open up even more to see God in everything, and how you are just filled with so much awe and like a childlike wonder. Um, and I really just pray that protection for that wonder. And, and God shows me how you, d you dwell in His peace. And when something stressful comes, how you just run to Him, um, like as a child would run to their dad. And children know that their dad, like they, they're so much stronger. Um, and I feel like even small kids, they, they, they really trust that they, their parents can figure this thing out. And I just feel like with that same confidence, you need to run to God because you know that God can and He will figure this thing out. Even if it isn't necessarily how you think He's going to figure it out, but He will figure it out and He will make a way. And I feel like God is just reminding you that He is carrying you um, in His hands. Even if you look at 
how big everything is that God created. You're like a small speck, but I got to see how you are held in His hand and He cares so much about your life um, and everything that happens in your life and everyone that, that enters and exits your life. God bless you. Thank you, Elisma, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. We love to hear from you. Okay, the next word is for <laughs> Jeanette. Yeah, this Elisma thought it is. Uh, I'm talking to her, but uh, <laughs> uh, I think this Elisma is more special. <laughs> <laughs> they are on the receiving end. You are the giving end. Okay, so the next word is for Jeanette. Jeanette, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Um, I see just a new form of you, a new shape of you, a new trust of you, uh, where the Lord has uh, uh, called you to connect into the vine. I just see how He's binding you up, renewing you, restoring you, uh, because you are not your own source. You are connected to the Lord. He's supplying in your needs. And it just feels like because you're tired, the leaves grew, grew down into the dirt. And I just see how the Lord comes and He picks them up and He washes them and He binds them up nicely so that you can grow strongly. And I just see how the Lord says He's blowing over you. So accept the joy that is restoring into your life. And I see because of the joy, you will see new opportunities. It feels like you limited yourself because you don't see the opportunities. You just let them pass by. But the Lord says with, it, with joy, He's going to help you to see that opportunities that you want to take it be blessed hey Jeanette uh, God bless you uh, we love and appreciate you uh, so the next word is for cushy cushy the Lord shows me a plant in the house the plant gets plenty of water uh, fresh air but there's not always sunlight on the plant and so sometimes you need to take a house plant just outside just a little bit just to get a little bit of sunlight and you can put it back again in the shade and I felt the Lord says it's time for you to come into my glory because I want to shine my light on you I want to refresh you and I want to make everything in your life new I've given you water I've given you a task I've given you the soil the purpose to grow you're bearing the fruit but the Lord wants you to to also bath in my glory. God bless you. Amen. Next one is for Carolyn. Carolyn, I see you dancing. You've got this beautiful red dress on and you're dancing. It's almost like you are, are ice skating and dancing and then you are collecting white flowers and you're putting it in a basket, collecting white flowers and there's so much joy. And every time you're collecting a flower, your joy just increases. Then you collect a flower and then this piece. It's almost like you're collecting the fruits of the Spirit. And, and it's almost like when you collect this, it, it, it goes into you and you are, you are experiencing that and you're understanding that. Because we all want to operate out of the fruit of the Spirit because that's why God gave us the Holy Spirit but it's sometimes dif difficult for us to, to, to um, operate out of that but, but God says the more you're going to worship, the more you're going to go into His presence, the easier it will be for you to put on all the spirits uh, all the fruit of the Spirit and um, to build character and so that you can overflow into other people's lives to show them what it is to be a true Christian, a true believer of God be blessed uh, the next word is for Nandani. Nandani, I see you in a white dress and I just, I see the words, um, you have been made clean. Um, God shows me, it's kind of like you're walking with a basket and how you're just putting all these th fruits in it and I see how you come to this door and how you just knock. Um, and uh, the scripture that about um, knock, keep on knocking and the door will be opened. Um, I see how you just persistently seek the Lord's face and um, it's kind of like a breakthrough that you are searching and I just see how you keep on knocking because you know that God will bring that breakthrough and then um, it's kind of like when that door opens it's just God's glory that floods you and I see how he floods you and he fills you with his love. Um, yeah, God bless you. Thank you Nandani for being here tonight. Please remember write us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. The next word is for Ravi. Ravi, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I see your veins have become smaller and almost too small to push the blood through that you need. And I just see how the Lord brings a restoration process in your body where these veins open up, where they enlarge and bring enough blood supply to the parts of your body uh, that need blood. I see a restoration for you. I see that you're going to be healthy. I see that you're going to be... Um, you want, to, you want to live. It's going to feel like, yes, this is my day. I'm going to do it. I'm going to walk with the Lord and I'm going to overcome. And I just see how the Lord says, be strong and courageous because He's the one that's giving you strength. He's the one that's giving you courage. So you just need to believe in the Lord that is with you, that He loves you and that He cares for you. Be blessed. Hey, Ravi, uh, God bless you. Uh, God's hand is upon you. Ravi, I just feel a teaching anointing on your life. Hey, um, 
Next person is Rachel. Okay, so Rachel, uh, the Lord shows me be you before a green screen. And when you video record and you light on change the, the background, uh, but you are explaining and you are teaching and you transferring information and there's a lot of treasures inside of you that the Lord has given to you that, that you bring out and how you bless people with doing that. And so I, I, I see the, that... that um, so let's say like a crown of wisdom or a, a mantle of wisdom that's on your life uh, and so the Lord is going to give you a way out to release it also God bless you I mean next word is for Willem Willem I see you driving in this car and it's a black car and it's music playing and it's almost like you're racing and there's so much it's like just this order and things and, the, and then all of a sudden you stop and you get out of this car, and but but inside it's broken. It's like you know it makes makes a noise when it goes, and it's 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 very noisy. <clears throat> it's almost like very um, um, destructive. And then as you get out of this car, you walk back, but it's a far way to walk back. But while you're walking back, God starts speaking to you, and he and he gives he pours so much wisdom into you. And f from this, you make it. You know, you say, I'm not never going to go back to that. And he gives you this beautiful red car, and it's shiny, and it's new, and it's all new equipment inside and it's fancy and computers and everything and you get into it and it's beautiful music and you are just <clears throat> riding in the sky it's almost like god wants to tell you that there where you are right now it's it's a little bit chaos and um <clears throat> maybe you're overworking yourself at the moment or things like that but that's not where god wants you he wants you to be calm in this red car and he wants to supply you with all the good things so that you can go into rest and so that you can still be the man who god created you to be he doesn't want you to be in chaos he doesn't want you to overwork yourself he doesn't want you to exhaust yourself he wants you to be in that place of rest where you do whatever you can you can only do your best but you do not have to be the best bless you thank you Bill. please leave us a comment the next word is for uh danica danica when i prayed i just saw deborah and i also see how you are like this warrior woman for the kingdom of god i see how it's kind of like your heart has melted with the Lord's heart and um, the Lord burdens your heart for what is, I, wanna, I don't want to say burdens his heart, but I think you get what I mean. Um, so, and I just see how you are filled with such a passion for the Lord's people and how um, just for saving souls and I see how you really intercede. I see how the, the Lord teaches you how to pray and um, just kind of like effective prayers and i'm reminded also of the scripture where it says the the uh, what the prayer of the righteous are powerful and effective or something like that i think it's in james not sure but um i just see how you are filled with the with the spirit of god but i also see how you you walk in such humbleness and you minister in such humbleness and it's it's not the crown isn't on your head i see how you've laid that crown before and um, the lord and how you really just seek for his name to be glorified god bless you thank you danica for being here tonight please remember write us a comment we love to hear from you the next word is for malki malki the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i see a path where you're walking on now there's a puddle of mud and your first intention is walk around it and i just see how walking around it is not the best option uh, there's a lot of thorns there's a lot of challenges on the other side and i just see how the lord says go through which looks like the dif the difficult path because it's not the difficult path the mud is not deep and i just see how you trust the lord and you say yes lord i'm going to walk through that and when you're done you're actually very grateful that you trusted the lord and that you heed his instruction and i just want to encourage you to listen for for instruction from the lord and pray every day ask lord what what must i do here if you do not know the answers and even make all of your plans known to the lord so that you're just sure and you say lord this is my plans this is what i want to do and maybe the lord is just going to say i want you to do something differently uh, but trust the lord i just see the more you trust in the lord the more you will enjoy what you're doing be blessed hey uh, god bless you Malky, uh, his hand is upon you. Okay, Martin, the Lord says to me, consistent, you got a good strategy, you just continue, slowly but surely, no um, high points or low points, just very consistently, the Lord is uh, using you uh, in business and even in the church, he's giving you wisdom, and I see how you just 
consistently continue. Okay? And in the Bible, there's a few people that were like that. Like, for instance, Daniel. He was from a young age. He was just consistently serving the Lord and faithful. We also have Samuel, the prophet. From when he was a young boy, he was consistent with the Lord. All right. And so I felt that the Lord is giving that same anointing on your life. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for Anneli. Anneli, I see how the Lord is placing a crown of joy upon your head. And I see it just like this flowers around you. And I see this like um, sweet fragrance arising from your life. I see how you study um, the word of God. And I see how it's kind of like you are, you are molded by the scriptures of the Lord. And how you are dressed in the words that God speaks over you. And I see how this confidence arises in you. But it's also a humbleness. Um, I just feel like God has called you to such great things, um, greater than you can ever imagine. And um, yeah, I just feel like as you lean into God and as you surrender to the Lord, how the Lord will just open up doors miraculously. Like it won't make sense. Like you really see the hand of God upon your life. The more you seek it, the more you'll see it. God bless you. I mean, next word is for Julian. Julian, I see that there's like a, it's like a mold. Um, so you are, you are the boat, and you need to fit into this mold. And it's almost like you need to. That's that's how you are docking the boat. Ne? that's the right word. You're docking the boat. Then you need to rest in in the harbor, and then you need to go further. But but this mold is not fitting the boat. Then you you go to the another mold, another mold, another mold. And it's almost like God is saying to you that you need to go. You need to. Um, almost like move back a little bit go back into the sea and it's almost like you have to do something you have to do something he's going to give you a task he's going to give you what to do then when you have completed that task you are going to come back to the dock station where you will rest so be open to what God is going to speak to you be open to um, you know what God wants you to do and just obey um, in that process sometimes it's not going to be easy but God wants you to being here tonight well, well you're not here but for Wanting a word, you're supposed to give a word. Anyway, <laughs> now you'll be blessed. Uh, look forward to see you again. Um, write us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. The next word is for Lindy. Lindy, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Okay, put your hands on your stomach and then regularly, daily, just speak blessing over you and, and I assume Dante. it's Dante. Uh, speak blessings. And then I also hear how the Lord says, when you read scripture, read it out loud. Read it for her. Read it because I see a, a connection like an umbilical cord into her ears from the Lord. How uh, she's going to connect with the Lord from a very early age. And uh, you're going you're gonna to speak blessings. You're going to start with this process. Uh, she comes from the Lord, but she'll hear from the Lord. And you're going to just, uh, I don't know, you're just going to create an environment where she feels loved and saved even before she is here yet. Hope you understand. Be blessed. Hey, Dante, so what the Lord is saying to me is how you are a worshiper and how you are being filled with the Holy Spirit. And, uh, you know, uh, your spirit can worship from, from the moment you created, you can worship God. From the moment God created you, you can worship God. And I actually saw how Dante is worshiping God just where she is right now. And so uh, John the Baptist was baptized in the Holy Spirit while he was still in his mother's womb. And I, and I feel the Lord says from a young age, I'm baptizing her in the Holy Spirit and in fire. God bless you. I mean, the next word is for Shannon. Shannon, I see how you are, are sitting under the tree and you're reading the word of God. And God says he is going to be your covering. He's going to give you that shade. He's going to give you that protection. He's going to give you that area where, where you can find um, everything that you are looking for. Because every answer that we need is in the word of God. So he wants you to go search. He wants you to go um, into the word of God. And God is going to speak to you through revelations in the Bible. He's going to show you. It's almost like a flood life that's going to come on you and as you read the bible you are going to understand more scriptures you're going to stand more verses and write down what god is going to speak to you and after that i see how there's going to be children in front of you where you are going to teach children how the word of god works and it's almost like you are going to build a a study book or something or small kiddies um you know daily devotion that god wants you to write out of what he has taught you because um children needs that um, so that they can know how to study the word of god Bless you. Thank you, Shannon. Please leave us a comment. The next word is for Shan Shang. Ming. Ne? No. Okay. Female. 
Okay. Um, so I just see how the Lord is giving you weapons. I mean, I see how the Lord is showing you how to use these weapons. I see how it's kind of like a surrenderedness. And in this surrenderedness, the Lord will... He will show you how to do things and I see how this won't be in your own strength but it will be on total dependency on the Holy Spirit and sometimes you won't understand something but I see how in those moments how you just press into the Lord for more revelation. I see, really see rest, how God is giving a rest um, to your soul and I also see a refreshness and yeah, it's just like a time of rest and the Lord is refreshing your soul and just filling you with Him and His Word um, again and I'm, I'm just reminded of the fact that Make sure that you are continually eating enough spiritually. God bless you. Okay, thank you, Shan Shan, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. Thank you for everybody that is writing comments and contributing to the ministry. We really appreciate it. Thank you, and especially Elizabeth. Thank you for all your comments on my channel as well. Yo, she's writing like a machine gun comment, so that's very nice. I appreciate it. Okay, so the next word is for Evelyn. Evelyn, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Um, I see, don't worry, trust in the Lord. Don't worry, trust in the Lord. Don't worry, trust in the Lord. It's like a song, repeating. You need to rehearse it and speak it over and over again so that you, your ears, your body, your mind start to hear it and respond to it. And I just see how it's going to become, become like a song that you sing. Every time things feel like it's, it's going the wrong way, you just say, trust in the Lord. I trust in the Lord. I care about the Lord. And I just see how that's how you're going to renew your mind. How you're going to get your mind focused and remove your focus from the negative thoughts and things that you think that can go wrong and put it on the positive things to say, well, because God is with me, everything will work out. Be blessed. Hey, Evelyn, God bless you. Uh, um, so, Amanda, uh, the Lord uh, gives me uh, Abraham and how he had a complete disregard for the natural circumstances and he believed what God said that what God say will come to pass and even when he was older he still said yes I'm going to have a child yes the Lord is going to give us the land and he kept on believing the Lord and I felt that the Lord is saying to you daughter that my promises that I've given to you will come to pass you don't have to feel oh it's over it's not going to happen uh, and the Lord wants you to declare and to speak the things that are not as if they are don't be a sound board for circumstances rather declare what God is saying God bless you Amanda I mean next word is for Jan Jan I see there's, there's, a, there's a big wall and it's causing a blockage I don't know if it's in your spiritual life or it's in your financial life but there's a big blockage and then God says he wants to give you more so that so that you can you know it's almost like you, you're facing this, this, this wall and you can't see clearly but God says you need to step back and then you need to just go around the wall because behind that wall is everything that you are looking for so but you need to be able to trust the Lord and you need to go into that place of wisdom where you where you draw from heaven where you draw from him where you draw from whatever God is giving you so open the Bible um, read write down go into prayer go into worship and fast if you if you if you can so that God can speak to you so that you can know how to step back and how to go around this wall so that the blockage can be broken and so that there can be a flow and I see there's going to be a, a flow of, of finances there's going to be a flow of spiritual growth because um, that's what God wants for you and your family and through this there's going to be unity in your family and there's going to be healing um, I see that there's um, somewhere in your family someone needs healing and, and that is going to happen when, when this breakthrough is coming be blessed hey Jan God bless you uh, family I feel a lot of you have an intercession call upon your life to pray for others and to declare God's word. I just really feel an anointing for intercession that the Lord is releasing to many of you tonight. Amen. Family, we love you. We're going to be back again Friday evening, half past seven South African time. Uh, remember, if you would like to receive word and you didn't receive word tonight, you can write your name in the comments and I'll add you to the list. God bless you. YouTube channel. Um, Swear. Please subscribe to our channel and sign up for our newsletter. If you would like to receive personal prophetic ministry, you can join our live stream on Mondays and Fridays. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.